Here at Daymat, we go to work every morning in order to bring life-changing differences to our users. In order to do this, we have to understand our users. We have to understand the problems they have and what they experience when they have a loss of hearing. We do this by asking them questions, scratching the surface and go a little bit deeper to understand the real problems that they experience. The fact that they cannot hear the gravel under their feet when they walk anymore and many other things. It is our ability to understand our users that enable us to deliver state-of-the-art technology to the market. Modern hearing aids is very different from the old school perception of what hearing aids is. It is no longer big bass bananas and clunky amplifiers that sit on the ears of old people that constantly howls. Today, hearing aids is modern miniature healthcare devices. They include and combine a wealth of cutting edge technologies to deliver the best listening performance, direct connectivity, wireless rechargeability, etc. to the end user, just to mention a few features. In order to deliver that, in demand we have decided to develop our own hearing aid chipset. We do this simply to optimize all relevant use cases for hearing aid users. This is the only way we can deliver the best possible solution to the end user. Uticon Open S, the rechargeable mini-ride instrument, is a good example of what cutting edge technologies and fantastic hardware design can actually deliver to users. The OpenS delivers great sound quality, fantastic audiology, the best in industry connectivity, and a wealth of other features. So all in all, hearing aids today is much more than hearing aids was in the past. When we started working on a new concept of the OpenS instrument, we went out to people with a hearing impairment. We talked to them, we want to know what is the biggest issue they have in their daily life. And it turned out to be the acoustic feedback problem. This is the problem when you have a microphone too closely located to the loudspeaker and the sound start to feedback. After that, we did a lot of research on our own system, but also competitor systems to figure out what we are good at and also where we can make improvements. It was pretty clear that uh, we can actually do better. We made a prototype, we did a lot of testing, and uh, in the end, we came up with a very good product. People with a hearing impairment, they, they liked it. It's always a pleasure to work with colleagues to push the technology boundary to the next level. In the future, we'll be able to do amazing things through technology. We'll help people with a hearing loss live the life they want. To do this, we will use state-of-the-art technologies such as machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence and sensors. We'll use these new technologies and build real solutions to the benefits of our users and we will develop these solutions in close collaboration with our users.